I've been asked to say a few words that will encourage you in the Honiton Deanery. And so first of all, I want to say hello to you and thank you for all that you are being and doing as churches and as followers of Jesus Christ through this difficult time. Two particular verses from the Bible came to mind. The first one is from Psalm chapter 34 and verse 8. The verse is this, that the Lord is close to the broken hearted. And I want to say that through this time, many of us will have had that experience of having our hearts broken as we have looked at our television screens and read the news, or as we ourselves have suffered the loss of loved ones, perhaps are those very close to you or people from your congregation. We have had our hearts broken as we have seen the scenes of distress and as we've heard each day the numbers of deaths from the coronavirus. So this verse is to encourage us that the Lord is near to the broken hearted, that the Lord is close to us through the pain and the difficulties of this time. The second verse is from John's Gospel, chapter 10, and it's where Jesus describes himself as the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd, he says. I know my sheep by name. This verse reminds me that it is Jesus who is Lord of the Church. He is the Good Shepherd who watches over his flock, all of his followers, that he knows each of us by name. And that when we think about as a church, where we are going next, what's going to happen next, it gives me that faith and trust that Jesus Christ is there ahead of us. Actually, he's been ahead of us all along and that we can trust in him. So thinking about that, I was reminded of the prayer of St. Patrick's breastplate, uh, that Christ is behind us and beside us and before us. So I'm going to pray that now as I finish. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. May the Lord bless you today and always. Amen.